Artificial intelligence is increasingly part of our everyday life, but some will argue that we have to be vigilant of the possibility of a dark side to this very promising technological development, and some of them, they are top leading voices in their industry. I'm talking about Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, people that have shown uh, reservation about what the dangers of artificial intelligence could bring. But now they are putting their money where their mouth is because Elon Musk and many other tech uh, moguls have declared that they will donate $1 billion to open up this foundation called OpenAI, Nick. And this is very important because they're trying to do research to develop artificial intelligence that will avoid going Skynet and will remain trying to be friendly to humans. Is that is that needed? Uh, I. I hope not, but it looks like it really is. Because, you know, before we, we, we've heard about different campaigns warning against these kinds mm -hmm. of things. We talked about it here on the lip quite a bit. But then when you see somebody like Elon Musk uh, willing to throw a billion dollars at it, then it becomes real and it's like, oh shit. I that mean, it actually could happen. There's a lot of money to be spent to prevent paying taxes. Yeah. Especially <laughs> in foundations that do research like this. Uh, Bill Gates have come, you know, have words similar to Elon Musk saying we, we have to be careful. They, re, they refer to this as summoning the demon. Elon Musk at one interview, he said, this is summoning the demon. Do you think this is just like a scare tactics? Well, coming from a guy who wants to nuke Mars, I don't know, it's hard to say. I don't think it's scare tactics. I think it's a very good concern. Well, not a good one, but a very important concern to have. I mean, we, we shouldn't go into these things blind, trusting these robots to do everything, you know? If, it, I mean, think about it. If we want to create intelligent beings, we have to be aware of the fact that we're going to have to make them as smart as, as, as possible. So that doesn't come without risks. And they're already, you know, like I mentioned, they're already here. They're already part of your life. There's virtual personal assistants, the technology on your phone that tells you 20 minutes before you have to be somewhere yeah. that you have to leave. All of these are artificial intelligence scripts or codes that are already in place and are learning every day. So what this... Uh, effort, this $1 billion effort is trying to do is create and use the data stacks from all of these tech companies and provide them in an environment to the learning uh, intelligence that is controlled, which is it's important. But this is the first time that they declare in the terms that they have spoken about it before that they are preventing uh, Terminator style apocalypses, which is for me a little too much. But they are not the first. Back in 2014, uh, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, he launched the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. And this is also another uh, think tank that are trying to do the same. Make sure that artificial intelligence remains as friendly and as beneficial to humans as possible till they become smarter than us. Can I ask you something? Yes. Do you believe that there are other beings in this universe beyond our galaxy, our, our immediate solar system? Do you think other creatures exist? Well, th this is exactly part of that, that idea. This artificial intelligence will allow us to maybe get in touch with all of the intelligence that are well beyond our consciousness. Exists, I think so, yeah. It's inevitable, right? Yeah. Given the size and the probabilities. The mathematical the probabilities, it's impossible that we're the only intelligence okay. beings in the un infinite universe. So then, doesn't it mean that somewhere out in the universe, it could be possible that AI that's evil already exists, that already like wiped out the civilization that made them? Well, we're gonna try to write that script and bring it to you in our <laughs> next episode. But I think that's, those are the questions that many of these uh, efforts are trying to solve. Yeah. Is there something that is learning at a rate that human brain is, is not capable of, we should be able to regulate it.